recently we had an apology in the United States. They said they were so sorry about slavery and lynching and everything. They're so sorry. And a lot of people, almost no one received a copy of that apology. So when you apologize to somebody, shouldn't everybody know about it? And then they had nerve enough to put a disclaimer on the apology. <laughs> Look, don't come back asking us to help you restore anything. So I'm wondering... Because once you say sorry, you admit a liability. And that's why Howard wouldn't say sorry to us here. He was scared of the liability. And I'm saying, there is a fiduciary right. There's, we do have a fiduciary right that we could go in under on the basis of that sort of statement. But they would just go behind statute, statute, statute. Mm. Uh, it's funny tree. the way they play with the law. Yeah. But the in terms of sorry, what we say at the embassy, don't say sorry, say sovereignty. <laughs> That's what we say at the embassy. Don't say sorry, say sovereignty. Okay, yep. so that's the main emphasis. Yeah. Okay. Now downstairs, uh, they have an exhibit of Australian government. It sounds so great. I call up to become a citizen. And it says, uh, we're giving all this because we're working together and everything. How true is that? Well, the 51% incarceration rates of our youth, the suspension of the Racial Discrimination Act in order to deny what little native title rights we had to stop the own mining and the dumping. What would you call it? I call it genocide. Uh, good morning. Uh, I wanted to ask if the treaty is different from the apology. And uh, can I find any of that doc those documents online? Yes. Okay. Treaty now. Doc. Treaty I'm now. I'm having a hard time hearing. You treaty now. Any? dot wordpress dot com in terms of the apology I'll just tell you a little story about that we were at the embassy when that apology came down we had mobilized into the embassy in Canberra specifically to hit them at the opening apartment February 13th well, just give a background about the, the embassy because yeah, I have no idea about the tenancy that and the essential difference between the apology, oh yeah, the apology, how that apology came about was to stop this big, massive demonstration we're having in Canberra about the intervention. And a couple of weeks before that demonstration was going to hit, and people had travelled, what, three and four days from the Northern Territory to come to Canberra to demonstrate against this intervention. Rudd's mind has come up with this sorry statement. The media is all in bed with them, and they're concentrating on the sorry state, not the demos against the intervention. And it was beautifully done. I have to give it to Rudd. He, he did it brilliantly, totally out of the universe. Took us right off the papers, out of the media, and had sorry day, and had people with thanks on their t-shirts and everything. It was so brilliantly played. But Rudd's good at that. The state of denial that, that's going on is quite insane and the, and the way in which they're able to, to duck show stuff like they did with us when we tried to bring out what was going on with the intervention and they brought the sorry day down and just took us right off the... Yeah, it's... It. And there's, like, there was a billion dollars off to that Aboriginal oil or up in the Northern Territory he said no, and then they decided to do the pedophile intervention stuff. It was because Blackwater wouldn't take the money to let them go into sickness country to exploit it. That's what brought the intervention on. Blackwater said no to the uranium. That's why. And I reckon, you know, what I've seen in, in terms of white protest, non-indigenous protest movements in terms of, in terms of you know, anti-uranium movements, etc. Here's Blackfellas on the front line, taking up battery. And what support has been given to these Blackfellas on those front lines? The suspension of the Racial Discrimination Act, the intervention action, they're sending the army in. Like it's a whole re-invading process. We're being invaded again and 
again and again. It's like the invasion never stops, it just keeps going on and on and reaching greater heights. 